All eyes here tonight on the Father's Day forecast. Vanessa Murdoch joins us now with some answers on what dads will see tomorrow. Hi, Vanessa. Hello. Well, I hope dads love the forecast for tomorrow. It'll be hot and humid, and we do have a chance for storms, but it's not looking as active as it was this afternoon. Right now, we'll give you a live look over the city skyline. We're looking out from high atop the Empire State Building. 71 degrees right now, humid with west southwest winds at 8 miles per hour. We've got cloudy skies in the city. A high this afternoon of 88 degrees, 7 degrees above normal. Tomorrow we top out at 89 with the high humidity. Feels more like the low to mid-90s for many of us. Monday still steamy and the most sticky day of the next seven. So as we look at the humidity trend, notice tomorrow it's sticky, but Monday we're going to call it oppressive with dew points over the 70 degree mark. Tuesday will be a transitional day. It's going to start off real muggy, but then dry air plunges in late in the day and that brings the humidity level down to comfortable for Wednesday, Thursday, and I think we're going to hold there pretty close anyway into Friday as well. Rain chances look like this. Tomorrow, 20% chance of that afternoon evening pop-up storm. Monday into Tuesday, better bet for showers and thunderstorms to roll on through. Then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, your forecast is looking dry. Out there right now, we're watching as the shower activity really begins to fizzle out across the tri-state area. Just a little remnant activity here for northern Jersey, making its way into the lower Hudson and also up north for places like Sullivan County. Maybe it holds on until it gets to Ulster and Dutchess. But nonetheless, this activity will be gone by a.m. We expect sunshine to start your Father's Day and then a chance for storms by afternoon. Quick update for you now on what is tropical depression Claudette caused lots of problems in the deep south. Now sustained winds are at about 30 miles per hour. The good news with the storm system is it will steer to the south of us as it heads out to the open waters. The impacts here at home will be an increased risk of rip currents. I expect Monday, Tuesday, a high risk of rip currents at our shorelines because of the remnants of a Claudette. In addition, the increasing humidity is attributed to that tropical air mass to our south. Hour by hour, let's take you through the forecast. Here it is, the start of your Father's Day. Sunshine to start, very sticky as well. By afternoon, those clouds begin to develop across the region, pop up showers and storms become more possible late afternoon to early evening, but again, much less impressive than today. Monday, I expect more cloud cover in play, especially as we move into the midday and afternoon, and then late Monday into Tuesday is when more organized system rolls through the region. Tomorrow for Father's Day, it's a high of 89 degrees. Toasty for Dad, feeling like the low 90s, and that chance for some late day pop-ups as we're going to head to the beach tomorrow. Please note there's a moderate risk of rip currents. Monday, it's 88, stormy late lingering into Tuesday then by midweek drier cooler air rolls in and we are going to have a pristine stretch as we head toward next weekend one more quick mention summer starts tomorrow evening just before the midnight hour Jessica back to you you know dads always get their sunshine usually <laughs> rains on Mother's Day I'm just saying I, I think it just feels that way <laughs> thank you Vanessa uh -huh.